Tullius must be getting nervous. Taking Hellmarch, we're practically in his backyard now. As soon as we're able, we'll march on solitude. You have no time to glory in your accomplishments. We're gathering for our final assault on solitude. I need you there. Report to our camp in Hoffinger. Having received orders to move on Solitude, Nisha was keen to get to the Stormcloak camp in Harfinger to meet up with Galmar. Taking Solitude was not going to be an easy task, so she needed to ensure this went as smoothly as possible. Slaves to the Thalmor. We are not slaves. We are men. Reporting in. Meet the brothers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the Imperials. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. What do you say? Can you do this? That fort is as good as ours. You've got real fire in you. I like that. Talos, Skype. Taking Fort Hragstad would weaken the Imperial hold in this area, making Solitude a much easier target. On the way to meet up with the Stormcloaks, Nisha had a surprise encounter, but one that she was more than happy to deal with. So much for Thalmor supremacy. When she found the Stormcloak party, she was surprised to find Bad them in idea. battle with bandits. This was not the start they needed for this campaign, but at least the soldiers would be warmed up. With the bandits taken care of, it was time to move on to the fort. taken, Nisha could leave the Stormcloaks to mop up any straggler Imperials while she reported to Ulfric for the final assault on Solitude. The siege was well underway when Nisha's party Need arrived something. at Solitude, with Ulfric about to lead the main charge. This is it, men. It's time to make the city ours. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows, those who have fallen, those still bearing the shields to our right. On this day, our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring. And men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. The castle tower to cut the head off the legion itself. And in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free. Ready now, everyone, with me for the sons and daughters of Skyrim. Come on. 
As expected, the fighting was fierce as they entered the city, but once the initial defence was overcome, they were only met with pockets of defence. That's your best, my huh? steed. Eventually, Nisha made her way to the courtyard of Castle Dower, which would give her access to the Thalmor headquarters. Side clearly weren't expecting any trouble and fell to Nisha's axe like lambs at a slaughter. Now that the Thalma had been dealt with, Nisha had a good look around and found a key to an embassy. Could this be the seat of Thalma power in Skyrim? This was now number one on her list of places to visit. Before she went to the Thalmor Embassy, she needed to show her support for Ulfric as he faced General Tullius and took his place as High King. Secure the door. Already done. Ulfric, stop. Stop what? Taking Skyrim back from those who leave her to rock. You're wrong, Ulfric. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will assuredly fall to the Dominion. You were there with us. You saw it. The day the Empire signed that damn treaty was the day the Empire died. The Empire is weak, obsolete. Look at how far we've come with so little. When we're done rooting out the Imperial influence here at home, then we will take our walk to the Aldmeri Dominion. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the general. He has given up, but I have not. Rekka, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? This is the Skyrim you want? Damn woman, stand aside! That's not the Skyrim I want to live in. Rika, you don't have to do this. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. What was that? This should be fucked. This is it for you. Any last words before I send you to oblivion? You realize this is exactly what they wanted. What who wanted? The Thalmor. They stirred up trouble here. Forced us to divert needed resources and throw away good soldiers quelling this rebellion. 
It's a little more than a rebellion, don't you think? Ah. We aren't the bad guys, you know. Maybe not, but you certainly are the good guys. Perhaps you're right. But then what does that make you? You just said it yourself. It makes us right. And if I surrender... The Empire, I remember, never surrendered. That Empire is dead. And so are you. So be it. Just kill him and let's be done with it already. Come, Galmar. Where's your sense of the dramatic moment? By the gods. It's a good ending to some damn story you're after. Hmm. Good point. What do you say? Do you want the honor? I'll gladly kill him. Here. Use my sword to do it. This moment will be immortalized in song. Make it a good kill. Using Ulfric's sword, she did just that. I'll try and make this last mistake. Good. It's done. Well, I suppose some kind of yes, speech is in order. I'll go gather the men in the corner. And Alisif? Don't you worry about her. I've sent my best. What can men. I do for you, friend? Stormblade, I want you to have my sword. A token of my appreciation. Now then, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you, the truest of Stormcloaks. Of course, my lord. Very good. Come, the people await us. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Carlos, watch over me. I am indeed Ulfric Stormcloak. And at my side, the woman we know as Stormblade. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes. But it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire, who sunk its claws into our land, trying to drag us down with it. It was you who fought the Thalmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause who weren't willing to pay the price for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions, to determine our own future. Something? And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King, not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders Will I accept it? And what about Jarl Elisif? Yes, what about the Lady Elisif? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me and her misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin so that the suffering of our people will end? Will she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned? I do. Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. The Old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! How'd I do? <laughs> not so bad. Nice touch about the High King. I'm Thank used you. to a lot of stairs when I walk through town. It's a foregone Some people are looking at me. Joining Ulfric's cause had given Nisha oh, the access that she needed to take down the Thalmor. She dispatched them from their hideouts, the headquarters, and at every opportunity as it had arisen. Now, all she had to do was destroy their embassy in Skyrim, and she would be happy knowing she had avenged her aunt. The thought brought a small sense of peace to come, and made her relish the prospect of more Thalmor falling before her blade. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. May the gods preserve you. May Good the afternoon. gods preserve us all. Come, Galmar. 
we've still much work to do.